In this video, we're going to work through some analytical geometry questions from checkpoint test 1. Question 2. The lines y minus 10x plus 8 equals to 0 and 6y equals to x plus 18 are shown in the diagram below. Study the diagram and then answer the questions. Okay, so there is y minus 10x plus 8. If we just reorganize that into standard form, we add 10x to both sides and subtract 8 from both sides. And 6y is equal to x plus 18. To get that into standard form, we divide by 6. x over 6 is the same as saying 1 sixth x. Okay, so x over 6 is the same as saying 1 over 6 times x over 1. Okay, and it's always better when you're writing an equation to write it as a coefficient so that you can see clearly what the gradient is. And 18 divided by 6 is 3. Okay, determine alpha. Now, alpha, alpha is the angle of inclination of the line y equals 1 over 6x plus 3. So, therefore, the tan of angle alpha will equal 1 over 6. So, the shift tan of 1 over 6 will give us alpha, which is 9,5 degrees. If we now want to find gamma, gamma is the angle of inclination on the line y is equal to 10x minus 8. So, that means that the tan of gamma will be equal to 10 and that means gamma will be equal to the shift tan of 10 which is 84,3 degrees. Okay now when we come to determine beta if we look at the diagram you can see that the x-axis forms one of the sides of a triangle okay one of the extended sides of a triangle so this angle here is actually the exterior angle of the triangle and from our geometry we know that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles okay and we need to give a reason and the reason is just simply exterior angle of triangle so therefore beta will be equal to 84,3 degrees minus 9,5 degrees which is 74,8 degrees Okay, question 3a. The parallelogram ABCD with vertices A, negative 4 and 3, B, 3 and negative 1, D, um, sorry, C, negative 7 and 1, and D, X and Y is drawn below. E is the point of intersection between the diagonals. Okay, number A, if line AB, so this line here, has the equation 4x plus 7y is equal to 5, determine the equation of line CD, which is this line over here. Now, the one bit of information that you need to um, take careful notice of here is that ABCD is a parallelogram. And that means that the opposite sides of this quadrilateral are parallel to each other. So CD is going to be parallel to AB, and the reason for that is because they are the opposite sides of a palm. They're the opposite sides of a parallelogram. So therefore, the gradient of CD will be equal to the gradient of AB. Okay, but currently we can't tell what the gradient of AB is because the equation is not given in standard form. So we first need to reorganize the equation into standard form by getting the x over to the right hand side and then dividing through by 7 in order to see what the gradient is. Okay, so therefore we can conclude that the gradient of CD will also be negative 4 over 7. And if we substitute into our standard form for the straight line graph, y minus y1 equals to mx minus x1, or you could substitute into y equals mx plus c as well, you could, you would then get y so we need to substitute in the coordinates of a point that lie on the line so the y value at c is 1 the gradient we've already said is negative 4 over 7 and the x value of c is negative 7 if you then tidy this up you get negative 4 over 7 x negative 4 over 7 times 7 is negative 4 negative 4 add 1 is negative 3. So therefore the equation of CD is negative 4 over 7x minus 3.